Hey guys, um, so the other day I got on Facebook and Twitter and I asked what sort of things you guys would like to see on this channel and I got a lot of responses and I was really really happy with that and one of the things that I got was to tell the story of moving to LA and how I started how I got started doing covers and I really like that idea so I um, thought I would tell that story and yeah so going back to I used to live in Texas and one of my favorite things to do in Texas while I was in high school and, and college and everything was to play shows. I, uh, I used to be a drummer and I played in a couple different bands and we went around North Dallas a lot. Um, but I never really got to get out of that bubble and do anything, you know, but very much more exciting than just like kind of staying in that area, which was fun. I had a lot of fun. Some of the best years ever. But um, eventually, as a drummer, I got a craving to sing more and I uh, I don't know if you remember in one of my older vlogs I talked about how my mom kind of made me sing to her in the shop and that kind of got me moving a little bit more and then my girlfriend at the time uh, got me singing for her a little bit more and eventually I just decided like you know what if I'm gonna do this I have to do it like I just want to know what it's like I want to know what it's like to come out from behind the drum set and sing into the microphone and Kind of lead the show and so I did I booked a show at a club that I used to work at in Plano um, which is in like North Dallas and I invited everybody that I knew and the days leading up to it I was so nervous I would come home every day and there was like a keychain that hung from my ceiling fan and I didn't have a microphone stand at the time like this and so I just hung my mic over that that cord or that keychain and it would like hang right in front of my face and I would practice singing just about every day right after I got home from school and for hours and then um, finally the day the show came I was so nervous I played all the songs way too fast um, but I had a blast after it was over with it was like oh my gosh so this this is what it feels like, this is what I want to do, and I mean, to this day, performing is still one of my favorite things to do, it's my favorite, like, aspect of music, I think, um, and so, fast forward from there, I started playing more shows, I was playing at coffee shops, um, I would even, like, sit outside of coffee shops or, like, or uh, other venues and just kind of play music as loudly as, loudly as I could, and, um, so then uh, I got into college in Plano. I was going to uh, the community college over there and one of my friends was moving to LA and I was really, really jealous. I really wanted to come with him, but I just couldn't at the time because I had, I had a girlfriend there. I had, you know, I was going to school also. Like I didn't know how the transfer would work. And I wasn't really sure like how I was gonna make music work to be honest I, I didn't really know and I was kind of scared how to like about how to approach it and, and I kind of had been told all always to have a plan B and that plan B was college and so eventually after talking with my roommate or not my roommate sorry soon to be roommate he was uh, my friend that left Texas and moved here I talked to him every day on the phone and heard about stories from LA and and um, Finally, it just kind of like hit me and I, I just kind of realized that if I didn't move to LA and pursue music, then I would regret it for the rest of my life. And it seemed like the perfect time to go and everything just felt right. So I called my dad from the parking lot of the college that I went to and I told him that I was getting ready to go in. And I think the conversation went something like, so, hey, um, I'm getting ready to walk in to school and I'm going to drop all of my classes. And then I'm going to start working full time, I'm going to save up and then I'm going to move to LA. And my dad's response was just, <sighs> and he was pretty disappointed, I guess. He really wanted me to get a degree and um, I just didn't really know. I was taking classes for a commercial music degree and that didn't. There's not a whole lot you can do with that that's in the 
performance field of music and it, I mean it's in you can do some things but I I wanted to be I, I have I have a dream and I wanted to follow that and it didn't have anything to do with with commercial music classes at, at a community college for me it just had to do with being around the right people and, and kind of working towards a very particular like skill set and so Eventually, uh, after working and saving up a whole lot, I uh, got a plane ticket to LA. I flew out here, I met up with my friend who had moved out here, stayed with him for about a week, uh, met every, met all of his friends, just kind of like got a vibe for the place. And then the next time that I flew out here was a few months later and we went apartment hunting. And then the next time that I came out here was me and my one of my best friends in Texas uh, got in my car, loaded it or loaded up my car with all my things and drove 27 hours from Texas to California, and here I am. And that was about two and a half years ago, and I, a lot has changed in two and a half years. I. Uh, I eventually, after about a year and a half of just playing, I had a, I had a YouTube channel then too, but it wasn't near as much of a, I mean, nobody, I didn't know most of you guys. Um, I was doing videos that were, you know, I did a few live videos. I did one uh, for one of my, one of my ex-girlfriends and um, I just I wasn't really keeping up with the channel a whole lot and then um, I was thinking about a lot of other things I didn't realize uh, the world of YouTube near as much as I do now and so eventually I bumped into Jake Coco um, I made a new channel and we started working together a, a lot more and um, now it's grown into thanks to you guys it's grown into something that uh, I can watch my dream kind of form into reality, and it's it's been really, really, really amazing and incredible. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough. But yeah, and that I, I really like to tell that story, um, especially to you guys, because I feel like there's a lot, a lot of people that watch my videos that that have a dream as well, and just. Uh, you know, for me, the big pushing thing was I didn't want to wake up one day and be like 45 or 50 and, and think back and wonder what would have happened if I didn't go to California. Like what, what could I have seen? What kind of places could I have been? What kind of things could I have experienced that I didn't get to experience? And now here I am and I'm experiencing all those things that, that I don't have to wonder what if, you know? And, um, it's the most satisfying feeling that I've ever had. So yeah, just follow your dreams and work hard. Find somebody that does something that you want to do and study that person and start creating your reality, I guess. Um, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. what you, you, you could do anything you want just gotta work hard at it but anyway thank you guys so much and also um thank you so much for all of the love on the little things video that uh came out uh just the other day you guys have been amazing and uh, i can't thank you enough for all of the sharing and liking and favoriting and, and it, everything you guys do helps so much so yeah thank you and i'll see you next time if you see what I see, then you know where we're going Just believe it's a dream and I'll show you why I'm